flowers and teddy bears being left outside a South Edmonton gas station by community members for two victims, a father and his young son, shot and killed in a targeted daytime shooting. We feel for the family, you know, and that's why, that's why we came, just to show support. It's just heartbreaking. Um, and I know there's a mom out there this morning somewhere missing her child. And that's why I came here to put down the stuffy and the flowers so that if the mom comes by, she'll know that there's people here that care. Police confirming the 41-year-old man killed is Harpeet Uppel. Family confirming to City News his son's name is Gavin. Family say the two were out getting lunch at this A&W when they were gunned down with multiple witnesses. Police not sure if Gavin was an initial target, but say both were intentionally shot. It happened in the area of Ellerslie Road and 50th Street. It is one of two crime scenes in the area. Police say a burned out car was found just south of the area. They believe it is connected to the shooting. EPS stressing Uppel was known to police. They are still shocked to see a child targeted. This really bugs me. There's no longer any respect for children, families, innocent citizens amongst our rival organized crime groups, our gangsters, when they carry out violence to further their own interests. Police say Uppel has been shot at before. In 2021, surveillance video shows his family diving out of the way at a Royal Pizza restaurant as bullets are fired through a window. The shooter from that incident has never been caught, but investigators say the getaway driver recently had his charges dropped, but unable to confirm a connection to Thursday's deadly shooting. Here at Ellerslie, police concerned another person could have easily been injured at such a busy plaza, including another child, a friend of Gavin. There was another child in the vehicle at the time who was the same age as our deceased boy. He was unrelated to that father and son, and thankfully he was unharmed, physically anyway. For one community member, too devastated to show her face, trying to understand why someone would target a child. That's just absolutely heartbreaking. Should, when children get involved in the middle of these things, uh, it's just heartbreaking. They should never. Homicide detectives have taken over the investigation. At this time, there have not been any arrests made. Reporting from Southeast Edmonton, Laura Krause, City News. And even though this was a targeted event, um, the risk to members of the public was significant. And terrifying really. Edmonton police say Thursday's targeted killing of a father and son is part of an escalation of gun violence that the public needs to be aware of. I gotta, this is a tough one because I don't want to, you know, create a bunch of fear out there in the public and get people so terrified. But at the same time, I would say that this city is, it has become so much more violent in the last few years and this stuff happens so often out there in the public and people are put at risk where before they, they weren't like that. The 41 year old father killed was well known to police with drug and gang connections but seeing him and his young son intentionally killed in a public setting sends a chill. This is just another level of violence that we haven't seen for a long time in the Canadian context. This former police inspector turned criminologist telling City News the fear of retaliation within criminal networks complicates the case. You know, you also look at who wants to give information on someone who's willing to kill a kid, right? So it actually takes it to that next level of where the investigations become really challenging because people aren't going to want to cooperate knowing that these guys have that. They're not just going after other people, they're going after families. And that is a, an, a, the next level of you know organized crime and gang operations that, that it makes them extremely dangerous and also extremely difficult. This shooting comes as Edmonton police have been warned of a growing tendency toward gun violence in public settings. So driving, shopping, walking, doing whatever near your home should not be unsafe like this. And we're lucky that we're not reporting on additional deaths or injuries today. Police say there were a number of witnesses and victim services is being made available to all those connected to Thursday's shooting. From Edmonton, Elliot Knopp, City News.